consistently, and I, as as a father and as a husband, as the head of the house, I need to like. I'm not crying. I'm okay. Not crying. I'm like, Hello, dear friends. Hey guys. Welcome back to the Majestic Family Channel. Uh -huh. My name is Jory, and this is my lovely wife. Bename or B. Please make sure you subscribe to the channel and comment down below so we can stay in touch. Don't forget to like, share, turn on your notification bell. So you know when a new video comes out. Thank you. We need to have a talk with you guys. Mm -hmm. For the most part, our content remains encouraging and uplifting, and that's how we want it to be. Yeah. However, I don't feel like it would be totally fair if we didn't bring you guys in on our lives completely. So today we're going to be sharing with you a little bit of our struggle and how we're trying to approach it uh, in terms of relationships. Mm -hmm. And so we want to make sure that in any season of our life, whether we're going through something hard or not, mm -hmm. that we're still bringing value from our lives to you in some form. Yeah. And uh, that's part of living out our lives, that we, we're visible and we want to be visible in a good way through good times and hard times. Mm -hmm. So today, we're gonna to be talking about some of the difficulties that we've faced. Yeah. You ready for this? No, go ahead. <laughs> so, I don't know how to say it except to just jump in. And so, I can't tell the whole story, but I will just say that uh, some of the close relationships in our lives um, have changed over the last 15 years, 12 years, something yeah. like that. Yeah, since we've been married. Yeah, and people we expected to be really close and have our backs and um, and just be in our corner and even even if you're not 100% on our team, maybe at least uh, go by the same set of rules that we do that we find in scripture. Mm -hmm. And we have not experienced that. Um, there, there have been some really, really hard things that we've gone through uh, in relationships. And, um, you know, it's always, it's always kind of been there since it started. And, and we've always wondered how much we should share. And we don't want to name names or, you know, or, or bash people. Mm -hmm. uh, but we feel like it's not totally genuine to you guys, our subscribers, can I give you a minute? <laughs> no, go ahead. I'm sorry. I'm trying to, I'm trying to just keep my head. Okay. We I'm feel like it, We feel like it's not totally genuine if we don't bring you in on this aspect of our lives, at least to some degree. Yeah. If we can do it tactfully and in a way that doesn't um, dishonor uh, even those who've dishonored us, you yeah. know, we, we want to try to do that. You know, there just hasn't been... So in these relationships that we're talking about, the the expectation that I've had is, um, you know, that that there would be openness, honesty, you know, working through relational conflict, that there would be good communication, and even if you don't have all that, that you would at least go back to scripture because these folks claim to be believers. Yeah. And so it would at least go back to scripture and try and do things according to what God would say with humility and. Um, and it just hasn't been our experience for that. And that's been tough. It's been really hard. Mm -hmm. You want to add anything? Mm -mm. You're doing great. <laughs> the, the last thing I want is for Ben and May to have to cry through the whole thing. So, yeah. <laughs> so, I'm not um, going to cry. Um, but just understand that um, you know the pain is there and mm -hmm. it has cut deep. And, and just because you see someone that looks happy and seems like their life is together doesn't necessarily mean it is. So, so how should we handle, you know, we know the right answers. How should we handle this kind of difficulty when you're, when you're mistreated? So when we've been wronged as a believer, um, how are we supposed to react to that? Mm -hmm. Matthew 5, verse 38 through 40 says, You have heard that it was said, eye for eye and tooth for tooth. This is Jesus talking. He says, But I tell you, do not resist an evil person. If anyone slaps you on the right cheek, turn to them the other cheek also. And if anyone wants to sue you and take your shirt, hand over your coat as well. If anyone forces you to go one mile, go with them two miles. Sorry, I'm, I'm reading further than what I said. Give to the one who asks you and do not turn away 
from the one who wants to borrow from you. If someone slaps you on the right cheek, turn the other cheek also. There's, there's a really difficult part of living according to scripture and being a believer in Messiah that, that means that we will consistently be giving up our own rights. This, this gets really difficult when you're dealing with people that, that you think would be really close to you. Yeah. That, that, um, that you may have grown up around or that you've become very close to. And then you think, if anyone has my back, these people will. And then you add the element of, you claim to be a Christian, you claim to be a believer as well. And so you expect that there's this submission to scripture. And, and when you don't see it, it makes it really hard. Mm -hmm. So does that relieve us from, from, from ourselves choosing to submit to scripture? You know, it doesn't. Yeah. It doesn't give us it doesn't give us, us an excuse to then well if you're not abiding by scripture then I guess I don't need to abide by scripture. Yeah. Cuz there's there's verses for that too. <laughs> yeah. I guess it's um I guess it's one of those things where it's like do I truly believe in my the walk that I'm walking. Right. Do I truly believe there is a God, right. like who sees, who hears, who understands? Mm -hmm. Do I truly believe that? Um, no matter how painful situations can be, mm -hmm. um, do I believe that the Lord is my defender? The Lord is right. my lawyer, um, my advocate, my my. I don't know the one that takes revenge on our behalf. Mm -hmm. Do I truly believe that? Like. And that's hard because there are times or there have been times where I've seen myself change because I think I've just grown weary yeah. of yeah. feeling like you constantly have to be the bigger person. Right. Um, and it was just like a good reminder yesterday, um, speaking with Jory mm -hmm. and, you know, a verse that I've read so many times, but he like reminded me of it again like yeah. about um I turned the other yeah. cheek I've read that so many times yeah. and yes I've like you know I've applied it but like I said I've been so like detached from like a lot of people and mm -hmm. just like n in the space of not caring mm -hmm. because I've carried so much and kept held in so much um to the point where like it my body has changed yeah. uh and yeah. The stress, the stress of the, it, the has, weight of it, the yeah, pain of it, um, it affects you emotionally, mentally, uh -huh. physically. Because yeah. no one else will get it. You, you right. turn, you research on YouTube. YouTube is telling you, or like people giving you advice would say, you know, you need to do X, Y, and Z, and it's completely against the scripture. But it feels good in the moment, because yeah, I want to jab a little bit back too. But it's that do I believe? that there is a God, right. like it comes back to that. So as much as it hurts, as much as it seems like it's not fair, mm -hmm. God, Jesus left us an example. Right. Like I always said, no one, no situation will ever allow me to lose my reward when I meet my maker. You can take me so low um, for so long until I snap back and say, no, you cannot take that reward from me. I am running a race right. and I want to finish it well. Right. Um, no matter how I come across as like an idiot or mm -hmm. like you're doing this to yourself, like you right. don't have to um, continue to, I'm not saying don't set boundaries, like don't misunderstand me. Right. Uh, set boundaries, but just know um, c continually to, continue to submit to the word of God right. because that is what you should be doing. So I'm speaking to myself really. Yeah, we, we love, so he uses a lot of profanity, profanity, but David, oh. David Goggins. Oh yeah. Is, I mean, he's an animal. Like he, <laughs> his, he's extremely motivating and he's, yeah. he's one of those guys that does what's hard. Yeah. Uh, even if he doesn't want to, yeah. I mean, to the extreme mm -hmm. running hundreds of miles and he holds the world record for pull-ups, you know, mm -hmm. most pull-ups in 17 hours or something like that. And uh, I can't remember what it was exactly, but anyway, it's just insane. And so when you think of running a race, like you have to run, uh, Paul says, I don't, I don't fight like one beating the air. I don't, yeah. I don't, you know, I run to win. 
Yeah. And that's what I think of when I when I hear you say that. that yeah. With this intense mindset that you have to get to the point that you understand that you're in a race and you're running to win. And yeah. and walking in the attributes of Messiah is your only option. Yeah. And and if you have to fight and claw your way through life constantly like choosing his way yeah and get to the end crying and beat up and weeping right and and just barely cross the finish line yeah so be it right because it's not about just this life right yeah there's so many there's so many dynamics to work through and mm -hmm. you know trying to draw good boundaries yeah. to where you're protecting your immediate family yeah. and from from these influences that might be negative and yet trying to remain open to you know messiah working in these other relationships to try mm -hmm. and mend things mm -hmm. uh, and being ready when you know when humility appears and there's willingness to work through things mm -hmm. and yet like consistently seeing like um consistently being hurt like yeah. every time we try to open up um in these certain relationships and mm -hmm. and so it's been hard yeah so romans 12 20 says on the contrary if your enemy is hungry feed him if he is thirsty give him something to drink in doing this you will heat burning coals on his head uh and so the word enemy i'm not sure exactly how it's used it may not be someone that you consider an enemy but maybe they mistreat you right and so by not retaliating it causes them to feel the heat of what they're doing because when they do evil and you do kind the contrast is so stark that they can't help but consider where they're at and what they're doing. Yeah. And so there's this dynamic that happens when, in a moment, if you're able to listen to the Spirit and, and choose to do the kindness rather than retaliate, then it creates something. Now, I'm not saying that, like, I'm not saying it's healthy to constantly put yourself in a position where you're beat up because, you like, for us, we have a family to raise. Uh, we can't consistently, and I as, as a father and as a husband, as the head of the house, I need to like... I'm not crying. I'm okay, not crying. I'm like, oh no, am I saying too much? <laughs> no, I'm not crying. Uh, I need to consistently attempt to create healthy boundaries for my family. Cause, yeah. Because, I, you know, you can't just let issues and hurts and things in to get your family. Yeah. So there's that balance I'm trying to find, you know, where I'm protecting my family, but I'm... I'm leaving the door open for the Lord to work and, mm -hmm. and not completely rejecting people, but mm -hmm. like if we're going to consistently be hurt in this way, then we have to create a healthy boundary. Mm -hmm. uh, by doing kindness, it heaps burning coals on them. It brings their own, their own unkindness back to them where they have to face it and say, oh, I did that, but they were kind. Right. Yeah. Um, you know, I, I always find it funny that people think Christians are like weak and it's so opposite you know right. it's so far from the truth that Christianity is a hard like walk <laughs> right. like no wonder why Yeshua would say like carry your cross right like put to death me, your flesh your daily. flesh daily yeah. to constantly be insulted or painted in a, a, a certain right. way that's been a huge one is just the reputation constantly the killing of our reputation and it's yeah. constant it's just like where is this coming from right. you know and to continually push through okay but what what would jesus want me to do yeah um i'm not gonna lie i got a little weary i'm tired especially when you look around and you don't see that not everybody responds like how they should mm -hmm. when they're a believer. Right. And it seems like they just kind of get away with wrong their actions. abuse yeah. or <clears throat> wrong action towards other people. It just seemed like they've gotten away with it. But I was listening to a famous psychologist and it was interesting. He's not a believer yet, but, you know, we're praying for him because <laughs> he's so cool. And if he can be utilized for the kingdom of God, it would be epic. Yeah. But yeah. Um, <clears throat> He was saying in his years of psychology, he's never met a patient patient who um, did not give back what they like sowed, whatever they sowed, that right. they didn't what reap. Uh, yeah. He's like, um, because they say, well, <clears throat> this happens. Like, well, what happened before then? Well, what happened before then? 
of, and then it comes back he's and then they go oh yeah that thing mm -hmm. he's like yeah you can't twist the fabric of reality with that is snapping back that's at what you. he says yeah. and that is biblical too <laughs> yeah. like you can't sow filth yeah and and right. unkindness and expect to to reap goodness, to reap goodness. Yeah. like that's just not gonna happen mm -hmm. and for those christians out there behaving like there's just not a god like there's right. no fear of the lord right. um you can only do that so long until it snaps back at you yeah you um, don't want it to snap back once you're dead <laughs> yikes that was harsh <laughs> It's I'm, true. Well, I know. I'm not I know. thinking of our like. No, I'm not I'm, thinking of just the people in our situation. I'm just right. thinking like, you know, the Bible says you, either you fall on the rock or the rock will we'll fall, fall on you and crush you. That's right. And yeah, it's not something you want to leave to to walk into eternity with. Right. Even if you do know Messiah and you're headed to heaven, like, and I'm not one to say who is and who's not. But, but I just I don't want my reward snatched away. Right. Because. Right. I'm running this race for that reward. Having, you know, the creator of the universe say, you know, rest, come into my rest. Right. Well done. Well done, my faithful servant. Right. Like, who, who as a believer doesn't want to hear those words? Right. Like, I don't want to hear, you know, get away from me. I never knew you, right. even though I was a Christian professing, you know, drew miracles right. and all this did. thing. Look, yeah. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, the little simplicity or the simplicity of the gospel because of the, the amount of pain and pressure, like you were saying, that we as a family face, not because of YouTube, like no. actually <laughs> to the contrary, yeah. YouTube has helped me personally and we can get into that later. Right. Finding freedom to just be yourself be myself, in front of a camera. Yeah, and yeah. not care yeah. what's, what someone's opinion right. is That's about me. Right, brought more freedom. It's brought more less. freedom yeah. for me. So yeah. <clears throat> YouTube has been a good thing for me. But right. the pressure we're talking about are from the people that have been around us or mm -hmm. in and out of our lives. Um, on this little family unit on this marriage like constantly right. i was just trying to say that because of the amount of pressure we face as a family not from youtube it's from the people around us different expectation um i feel like the simplicity of the gospel for me personally has gotten away from me from remembering what christ said or like your attitude towards um other people no matter how bad you're wronged to remember the gospel and to remember that Christ set an example for us to follow as believers. So that is what I was trying to relate. <laughs> so another scripture, Luke 6, 28, I'll just start at 27. But to you who are listening, I say, love your enemies, do good to those who hate you, bless those who curse you, pray for those who mistreat you. Mm -hmm. Oh, here it is again. That's similar to Matthew. Mm -hmm. it talks about if someone slaps you on one cheek, turn it in the other also. Mm -hmm. So there's this, how do you, you know, it, it seems so counterintuitive that you would bless someone who, who hurts you, mm -hmm. but he's asking us to do it. So yeah, don't follow these so, so social media trends, unfortunately. Yeah, like, don't you know, clap back. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, you got it. <laughs> don't clap back. Mm -hmm. um, they are toxic um traits or behavior is in actions but there's not a toxic person right that's yeah. i just yeah. feel like that's wrong no, people can change because yeah. people can change yeah. so said you know get these people out of your life no set boundaries right. for those people but don't label them a toxic person they just have toxic behavior mm -hmm. and behaviors when humility comes mm -hmm. can change um, so don't follow those trends that say people are toxic, get them out of your life. That's not right. biblical. As a right. Christian, you should not be heeding that, those advice, but you should be doing what the scripture says. Right. And it is not easy. Yeah. Um, so if you ever thought about becoming a Christian or giving your life to Christ, do not believe anybody that says this walk is easy. <laughs> it's not. I feel right. like it's actually harder because yeah, you're It's screaming. not fair to say that to someone. Yeah, yeah. against the current right. of what's popular yeah. and things like that. Christianity is not something to be taken lightly and it's not an easy lifestyle. I'm right. not talking about this mainstream new progressive Christianity that right. just, you know, flows by whatever yeah. trend the world sets for it. Right. The one that 
understands that your body is a temple of Christ, mm -hmm. um, that you are a representation of, uh, of Christ yeah. among people. You are the hands and feet of Christ, like someone who fears the Lord yeah. because they know, oh, he's watching or like I have a re relationship with God. I can't do craziness, you right. know, um, like the Bible says, live a life worthy of the calling which you've received. It's not like what everybody else is doing, but it it differs and mm -hmm. it's separated and it stands out. Yeah, that's true. Let me read another scripture. First Peter 2 verse 23. This is about Jesus living out what he says we should live out. When they hurled their insults at him, he did not retaliate. When he suffered, he made no threats. Can I say something? Yeah. Let's let's bring it to the modern world like Jory saying. That means don't clap back. <laughs> <laughs> When he suffered, he made no threats. Instead, he entrusted himself to him who judges justly. Mm -hmm. uh, it also talks in the Bible about vengeance is mine, says yeah. the Lord. Mm -hmm. I will repay. Mm -hmm. uh, and even that if we get too involved in wanting to see vengeance on people, God, right. will, God will actually hold his hand back and not right. judge them. Right. And so it's this weird thing where... If you want him to judge really bad against someone, he probably won't. Mm -hmm. But if you leave it in his hands and, and you know let him, then he may or he may not. But what's best for them is probably that, that they see what they've done wrong, they humble themselves and they turn and they don't have to be judged. Because we don't want people to really be judged according to God's standard, because it's horrible, it's horrific. And uh, <coughs> what the Bible isn't saying, I believe, okay. it's just my opinion, <laughs> is that you cannot express yourself with you know, to God. Oh, like, yeah. Look at Psalms. The stuff David was saying right. about his enemy was like, <laughs> He's like and this is, and, right, this is a yeah. man after God's heart? Right. Like, what? No, you can speak to yeah. God that way. You he already knows. You, you feel at. this way. Like, this is how I feel. This is what I think. And it's just yeah. so wrong. <laughs> and I'm looking for justice. That's mm -hmm. all it is. I'm like, Lord, at the end of the day, I just want to be vindicated i right. just want to be justified yeah, but that the truth would come out yeah yeah it's it's definitely something that we've told our kids as well that as a believer oh, yeah. in this life you will consistently be swimming upstream yeah against the current and against those who flow with the current and you know most of our stuff's pretty light and encouraging but we want to encourage you guys that there are literally millions of believers out there and so though it feels like you're alone at times there are many who do still uh, listen to the Lord and follow scripture and, and do their best to to listen to his spirit and walk accordingly and so if you if you're interested in hearing more about our story about this I know it's not the lightest topic um, but we're willing to share and you know to the degree that we can yeah I just wanted to say you know thank you I'm glad I have you in my life because not a lot of people have someone that would challenge them and say but look at it this way but what does the word say even yeah. though it gets on my nerves <laughs> like especially yesterday when I was just like honey now right now let me just you know what I mean but he was kind about it he you know you reassured me and you said you like I understand what you understand feeling. exactly yeah. mm -hmm. the injustice I feel mm -hmm. um, uh, just know that we're supposed to turn the other cheek yeah. and that was, that was hard yeah. to hear but well, the Bible says two will have a good return for their work so there's there's an important element of um, those who are married husband and wife mm -hmm. holding each other accountable in their journey on this earth yeah. that we have a great blessing in that we have each other to say no you're not quitting mm -hmm. we're gonna keep going you know and you know when you run or you do something with someone mm -hmm. it strengthens you and they can they can encourage you and spur one another on toward love and good deeds yeah well you're that person for me too at times when i'm too fleshy <laughs> and let's face it we only get one shot at this yeah let's let's run all out let's do this yeah i told jory i said this has to be addressed i mean i was very passionate and angry about it like what yeah. has and I say, but there has to be value for our subscribers right. somehow. Right. I want to give that. How can we express where we're at and the pain and the struggle, and still and still bring value to you guys? Yeah. And be and be fair with you and honest with you about yeah. where we're at. Yeah, we're yeah. not. Our lives aren't perfect. No. Nope. <laughs> but we try to keep looking up. Yeah. Like that's regardless of the situation. We love you guys. <sighs> and with that, dear friends, keep, keep looking, looking up. up.